I would like to shout out to Little Q for sending me this story right here. And let me just say right now, I gave Don Lemon, who is slip is slowly for me about to slip have me slip back into calling him Donna after you hear this story right here. I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt after he made those comments on CNN in which I talked about uh, about a month ago. Now I I he he's gone left field again. So we all know what happened with Kevin Hart. I don't have to rehash that. And I briefly talked about in the video where uh I said on my way home from work, I was hearing them talk to Don Lemon about what he said and how Don Lemon um said that he didn't like what Kevin Hart said, but he was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and what have you and this, that, and the third. Well, now Don Lemon said that he wants to invite Kevin Hart onto his show, you know, on his show on CNN and have a discussion with him. And in the title of this article, I kid you not, it says Don Lemon wants Kevin Hart to be an an LGBTQ ally. Basically, what he wants him to do is go on there, probably low key apologize again and uh, try to be their friend and everything like that. Basically, he wants Kevin Hart to fake the funk. And we know Donna. Yes, I'm going to call him Donna again because he, he's slipping right back into it. He wants him. I said Donna knows how, clearly knows how to be fake, apparently. How do you think he's managing to keep that job over at CNN? Let me go ahead and read this article. It says Kevin Hart was invited by CNN's Don Na Lemon to discuss some old disparaging tweets he made about the LGBT community earlier in his career, which has gotten him in some trouble. I'm going to touch on something very important towards the end of this article, too. He has since stepped down as host of the Oscars after it was announced that he was taking the gig earlier this week. This was after Hart acknowledged the backlash but didn't apologize, which reportedly angered the Academy. From there, the comedian explained why he chose to remove himself. I have made the choice to step down from hosting this year's Oscars, he wrote. This is because I do not want to be a distraction on a night that should be celebrated by so many amazing, talented artists. I sincerely apologize to the LGBTQ community for my insensitive words from my past. Lemon said he'll give Hart a fair shot if he comes on his show and help him turn the past few days into positive. In fact, the CNN host said the right course of action in the night school actor could be a full-on ally to the LGBTQ community. Kevin, call me. Let's talk. Stated Lemon. Let's make you an ally of the LGBTQ community. I'm a member. We know that, Don. We know you're a member of the community. Uh, I don't know you that well, but I do know you a little bit, and I believe that your heart could be in the right place and you can move to become an LGBTQ ally. Call me. Let's talk about this. Come on my show. He added, come on the air and let's discuss it. I will give you a fair shot to discuss all of this. Kevin hasn't declined or accepted Lemon's invitation yet, nor has he commented on the controversy since quitting the Oscars. To Donna, I have this one question of you to, uh, to ask of you. Have you reached out to Amy Schumer, Sarah Silverman, or Chelsea Handler to do the same thing? Because there were some tweets that recently got exposed about them. And while they may not be in a position of hosting any type of gig right now or any type of a war show, how come you haven't reached out to them? Oh, that's right. Because Kevin Hart is in the is the one that's being targeted right now. And you know what this is literally pushing right now? This is also pushing that narrative that black people are the most homophobic people. You know they push that narrative every chance they get. Every chance they get. When we know that this is further from the truth. And I would not be surprised if it's the execs over there for Don Lemon's show, Donna's show, that told him to do it. I wonder if Donna even really wanted to do this. But they're really blowing this out of proportion. They're really, really blowing it out of proportion. But to Kevin, I really, really wish, and I have to bring this up again, I really wish you did not apologize the, the second time because, as you can see, it has not gotten you the gig back over at the Oscars. It hasn't. You're still in the same position when you step down. 
So when you said that you're not going to apologize, you should have left it at that stuck to your guns. But see, when Holly Weird and certain hands have their have their uh, attachments to your funds, this is what happens. I actually put this out in a tweet a couple days ago. But to Donna, we know what you're trying to do. We know what you're trying to do. You're trying to coerce him into doing something that he really probably does not want to do. I don't think Kevin should do this because it wouldn't even seem genuine whatsoever. And we already know if he does, we already know lamestream media is going to take that and run into a whole nother direction with it. I can only imagine the filth that'll come out of TMZ when they say, after all, it was TMZ that put the shit out there. So I don't, I don't know. It's a, it's a sketchy subject, but Donna, all I'm going to say is this, Kevin Hart, don't trust it. Don't do it. I mean, the damage, from to me, the damage is already done. Like, it's already burning. Just let the dust and fire settle and blow over. Before you know it, they'll be on to the next topic. They're going to find, a, as Harvey calls it, they're going to find a new nigga of the month. You just happen to be the nigga of December. January is right around the corner. And before you know it, they're going to get on somebody else. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.